Howdy folks and welcome to Hawkmore Outdoors. And on this episode, we've got one of the best accessories for your hunting rifle, the Griffin Armament Bushwhacker 46. So, y'all stay tuned. So we're getting this unboxing portion of it. Comes in a nice box. Got a nice padding for your suppressor there. Get some cool stickers with it. Some kind of little bag. I don't know what the design is. But here's your suppressor. You get a Nielsen, Nelson device with it for your uh, pistols and stuff like that. The pistons are sold separately, so. You get three different suppressor tools. This one is to take the uh, suppressor apart, stuff like that. And you also get a, a Plan A, Griffin's Plan A suppressor mount here. The box also has a 5 8 by 24 muzzle brake in there, the easy brake. I've already installed it, but that's kind of what it looks like right there. You might be able to see that. But that Plan A mount, is for all these easy brakes and all their taper mounts and stuff like that. It's a really nice little system. But that's everything that comes in the box there. And your nice suppressor. This big old bushwhacker is rated up to 46 caliber. That's gonna come in handy this fall. We're running things such as this 450 Bushmaster and the 458 SOCOM through it. But it's also rated for all kinds of other calibers like 223, all the way up to 338 Lapua with a 24 inch barrel. Another feature of the Bushwhacker, it's able to be disassembled. So you can run all your dirty rimfire ammo through it too. And after you're done shooting, take it apart and clean it up. A lot of other suppressors are sealed. And they don't recommend that. With the Bushwhacker, you can run all the way from your 22 long rifle, all the way up to your 338 Lapuas. Very versatile can. We got the Bushwhacker on the 308. These are supposedly subsonic rounds by SMB. They're 200 grains going 1,030 feet per second. Let's see what they do. Okay, it didn't didn't cycle. Which we kind of we kind of thought that maybe it wouldn't. So I'm gonna try some uh, Hornady 450 Bushmaster subsonics. I don't think this will cycle. I don't believe it will. I'm not wearing here, Pro. That's me. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. I want to hear what it sounds like with the subs. It's not bad at all. It didn't cycle. Oh, man. It's good. Good to go. So as I mentioned earlier, the can is completely serviceable. You can shoot your rimfire cartridges and stuff like that. Uh, got the tube there, all the baffles and stuff like that are, you can disassemble it. They are pretty nice. They do have little cuts in them and I'll try to get some more closes up. Uh, so it all lines up very easily for you. This is their plan A taper mount that comes with this and it correlates with their muzzle brakes, like I said. And I think you can use different companies' muzzle brakes. I'm not for sure on that. I think it's all kind of a standard system, but it'll just go on there. Nice little setup, doesn't come off, stuff like that. And their front end cap, it comes with the 46 cal end cap. They do have a like 308, 30 cal end cap. I think it's called the Paladin. And buy it and uh, get this quieter for your smaller calipers but about 7.5 inches on the tube itself with all the stuff and about half a pound i think seven ounces or something like that if i'm wrong i'll put it correctly on the video here but it is a pretty hefty can but you're going to need that for them heavier calipers and stuff like that and it might be some overkill for some 22 long rifle but hey it'll all work so i'm gonna go over the the options that I chose to mount the bushwhacker to my uh, rifles here. This is the easy break taper mount from Griffin. Very simple to put on. I, I suggest you get a gunsmith to put them on, but put them on. They're very easy. 
just take off your muzzle brake, put that one on there. There's no timing or anything like that, but you do torque it to a specific torque, stuff like that. Very simple, very nice lock up. Don't have to worry about the suppressor coming off and stuff like that. But just a little warning here. If you get a BCA 450 Bushmaster, their thread pitch is 5 eighths by 32. It's not 5 eighths by 24, what I thought it was. It's 5 eighths by 32. Griffin does sell that in the easy break. Um, but just wanted to tell you that little fun fact. Well, that is our little mini review over the Bushwhacker 46. A great can, ready for all the different calipers you got to uh, throw at it. Now is the time, if you're wanting to get a suppressor, now is the time to get one. This one took me about, I think, a month total. It was very quick, very happy about that. But who knows, that might change in the future. But definitely I'm ready for deer season with this bad boy. I can't wait to get into a deer blind and not have my ears blasted out by the 450 Bushmaster after you shoot it at a deer blind. Yeah, I was, quite loud. I was very impressed on how quiet this can really brought down the 450. I don't know if that's going to translate to what you can hear at home. You know, we're not using $10,000 recording equipment here, but the feeling of shooting it, it just feels comfortable to shoot yeah. a 450, a 308, and that's going to be it's safer for us. You, you know, when you're not hunting, a lot of times you don't have hearing protection on necessarily. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be really handy when you're hunting in a blind or whatever. You're not getting all those decibels in your ear. Yeah. It's going to be a lot safer for us. Yeah. But hey, you like this content, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for all that you do. And you have a good one.